What in the world? Dude, I'm playing Operation, all right? Dude, what is going this on This is here? like... You need to explain yourself. This is, this is hard. Trying not to melt the plastic and trying to solder in the middle of this cavity. What is that thing? It's, this is awesomeness, man. This is, this is Chad's idea. And I get stuck trying to get it all put in there. Is it the uh, Lulzbot logo? Yeah, Lulzbot sent us a printer. Chad said, I want to do something with it. And then, so he makes this, brings it to me with little motor mount holes. Dude, we couldn't help but notice that the this Roctopus just happens to be a perfect plus configuration yeah. quad frame. So yeah, uh, we're going to do a nice, <laughs> simple, yeah, nice simple layout. So Chad decapitated it, <laughs> cleaned out the inside. So the plan is to have the battery in the skull. So it's. Hopefully you don't see it. Do octopuses have skulls? No, they're kind of like a mushy thing, I guess, but <laughs> it's all right. Old school red bottoms. I say old school, but it's like, you know, last year red bottom. Eight months ago. Dude, um, that is going to be awesome. It's going to fly great. It's not going to crash too well. <laughs> no. Yeah. Yeah, so the moment, it, the moment has come. I am rounding the corner to finalizing my Mighty Mini Mustang. Yes. This is actually something I've been putting off for a long time because I've been wanting to go back and, you guys hear me say it all the time, I want to go back and visit old designs, but also just build. I haven't built in a while. Uh, things I do on a day-to-day -day basis, believe it or not, they don't involve a lot of RC stuff. So I wanted to make it a point to get back to building. This is the first plane I've built in a while. Decided to go with the Mighty Mini Mustang. The reason why is because we have a new F-Pack, and this was my excuse for, for building, <laughs> right. is we have a new F-Pack. We switched up the motor because our, our 2204 motor was getting a little outdated, obsolete, and these red bottoms, which in quad terms are old technology, is what the quad guys say, when real, in reality they're like nine months old. <laughs> <laughs> right. So anyways, we built this Mustang. We're gonna test out the, uh, the new F-Pack, the red bottom F-Pack, and kind of see how she goes. For those of you guys who are watching who are new to the channel, this is one of our Mighty Mini planes. Now we have a whole fleet of planes. We have like, how many planes, Josh? 50? 54 planes. This is one of the smaller ones. Uh, we do bigger ones, but if you're wondering what this material is, it's actually not cardboard. It is uh, foam board. This is the same kind of foam board, uh, very similar to what you can buy from the dollar store. And we build planes out of common materials. So you got foam board, we got barbecue skewers, you got popsicle sticks, basically all common materials. This is one of our Mighty Mini ones, so that's why it's so small. And the size of these range all the way from, you know, 40, 50 inch wingspan, all the way up to a Kraken, which is gigantoid that one over there Maybe dude you're gonna face. film my mini mustang yeah, with dude. that crazy look camera at, look at this crazy camera oh dude you're gonna make thanks a... to lens rentals we just rented this for some slow-mo stuff that we want to do look at that lens look at that lens. gorgeous what? lens so i'm thinking about uh building a little workshop at home yeah i'm gonna keep this uh plane train rolling yeah dude, i like keep that building dude and also don't tell him but i i need to build uh i need to build ian a couple planes because he's built me like a ton of quads <laughs> yes <laughs> he builds me so many quads so i think eventually one day i'm going to ian if you're watching this don't listen but i think i'm going to build ian some surprise <laughs> surprise planes i like that because there's nothing better than surprise planes you know what i mean oh yeah i love a surprise plane yeah i'm not going to build you one <laughs> <laughs> thanks dude Got it. Dad, I got your mail. Dang, dude. That's awesome, dude. I love the box. I love the fly, but it's going to be funny. That's for sure. Do you have one. any kind of spar in there? Yeah. yeah so I, got a, I got a uh, two wood spars. I think what we need to do, though, is we totally need a wheel for tracking straight because yeah. this is going to need so much speed. You know, it'll be it's crazy. True. How much is it weigh? I thought four pounds. This is. Almost six and a half pounds with the battery in it. It's not bad. Sketch factor's high. <laughs> Very high. <laughs> it's gonna be. I thought four pounds, we could handle four pounds, yeah. you know? So How cool would it be to make it look like a bomber flying through the air, though? <laughs> put mail in it. The whole idea behind this, like, how did this idea come about? This guy. So he's got like a mailbox sitting on the ground outside his house that has like wings and looks like an it's, airplane. It's actually on my post now. My wife, Is it really? I, I've had it for like five years. I got it for Christmas. But I'm like, the second I put it out, some punk kid's gonna just smack the bit. So Stefan's like, dude, you gotta make that fly. And I'm like, 
it's gonna get destroyed one way or another. Yeah, he's like, I'm, yeah. I mean, yeah, may be a good idea. And then I come into work one day and he's got this, he comes with that beast of a mailbox. He's like, we're gonna make this fly. I was like, yes! Well, my wife's like, you're putting that on the mailbox right now. Like, <laughs> right? It was outside, that's why she put it outside. She saw it, she's like, I don't care if it lasts a week, you're gonna use it as a mailbox. It's a good idea. And I really like it. Dude, it looks like great. It a lot, but looks great. It, it really has like similar wings to what you see right there, but yeah. it looks like a GB. Like it's a little pudgy ball. And this but is I'm fly like a GB. <laughs> yeah, that's all that fast. matters. As long as it flies. Yeah. It's gonna be, it's gonna be a I think it's gonna High be good. Let's do good this. Call. Okay, let's go give her a whirl. Oh jeez. So fresh and so cool. Nice. <laughs> Isn't that sick, dude? Yeah. It's got a red bottom. It's our new F pack. Oh, nice little HQ V1S. Yeah, dude. Boom. He's gonna scream. All right. All right, bro. Dude, uh, Ian, you Ian, wanna give me a top? Launch I'll him, dude. Launch. We got some wind today. Should we check the wind here? I'll check the wind. Dude, it's coming from a lot of different ways. Coming straight at us from here. It's like, it's like Watch moving. it, it's like, watch it, ready? Yeah, <laughs> that's huh. what the wind's doing right there. <laughs> yeah, now is, yeah, that's not good. Let's go this way. Towards okay. the dirt pile? Yeah, just give it a chuck about 30 degrees up. All right. We'll see how it goes. Ready? I'm Sit. ready. Go. Hold on. It's in here! It's in the air, dude! Dude, this is dead on. This might be the best plane I've ever built. Where is it? There I've it is. I've never had a maiden go this, this smoothly. And it's really windy. Yeah, it is a t really windy today. We got some uh, remnants of Hurricane Harvey still rolling through. The mini Mustang don't care. Uh -oh. Look at that. It's a quiet little guy. This is only on 2S. So I'm running two cell with a uh, mini quad prop, a three blade, tri blade, uh, five, V1S five inch. Dude, this is a happy plane up there. There it is. Don't lose it. It's hard to trim with this kind of gust going on. All right, bring it close, dude. Is that a four channel? Yeah, yeah it has rudder, alien. Yeah, good, that's a good one. Look at that guy, flies so nice. Nice thing I like about the minis too is they're so small and they don't have that much weight relative to their size so that they can take a pretty good beating and they don't even crumple. Like most foam board planes don't break very easily, but these ones especially because they're so small. Ooh. <laughs> Dang, dude, you're getting close. So next thing is uh, I'm a uh, three cell. This is only a two cell. And then I'm gonna upgrade the ESC and I'm going four cell on this baby. Because as we all know, the uh, the red bottom can handle that, no problem. Here we go, we'll do some whirly gigs around us. Whirly gigs? <laughs> oh, dude. I like that black poster board, dude. Looks good. It looks nice. I'm gonna paint it, too. You are? Yeah. Painting? And eventually I'm gonna put FPV on it. I wanna put a... Uh, I want to put a little camera on a, on a servo on my rudder channel so I can look left and right, like look over my wingtips and look where right. I'm flying like a real Mustang. Moment of truth now. I do think the wind's coming from that way. So now we see if we can bring it in for a landing. I'll take it. Got it, I'll dude, it. yeah! <laughs> Also, the benefit of uh, mini quad props, they're not, they're not gonna break. I bought the PC. Did you kill it, man? Dude, I'm pretty excited Are about this. Are you stoked? This. Yes, I'm already thinking about my next build. <laughs> What you got? I'm just kind of shoving everything in here. <laughs> shoving everything in shoving the octopus every, head? Shoving everything in octopus head. Ooh. What kind of battery are you running? Hyperion 4 cell 90C, it's because it fits. So Chad had this idea of like cutting the head back in half and making it go on and off. So I'm thinking if it flies, we just glue that thing together. <laughs> yeah, there you go. <laughs> and just go, because that's awesome. We got the clear crop, so when it's flying, it's going to look more like a octopus octopus while it's flying <laughs> but first we got to run four bladers yeah four blader and clear five again, inch the original red bottom just like the battery the reason we got the batteries because it fit the reason we got these props is because it's literally the only set of clear props we had in the shop it's just going <laughs> to take off the prop nuts yeah yeah <laughs> so, I, I see nothing wrong with it's that a great landing gear hey chad we're going to test it real quick hey bring some kind of glue or something for the head just tack it on with hot glue so you gotta check us out oh yeah how are you feeling about this dude <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna rock out <laughs> let's just put it that way it's gonna rock it's gonna rock out man rock the puss <laughs> <laughs> 
can't wait till the props just disappear. That's awesome. So actually, uh, that octopus is actually the logo for Lulzbot, which is a 3D printer manufacturer. And Lulzbot, they've been an awesome uh, supporter of flight tests for a long time now. They've hooked us up with a couple different 3D printers, and uh, we've just been loving them. And I know uh, Chad, Lewis, he went from knowing nothing about 3D printing to pretty much mastering it. He's like drawing up stuff in 3D, printing out pretty much anything that we need. We thought the show thanks for Lulzbot, we'd print out their logo and make it into a quad. We couldn't help but notice it's a perfect plus configuration quad frame. So who wouldn't want to fly an octopus? I'm optimistic. No way. <laughs> I don't know. Ah! ah! Okay, well, well yeah. I wonder why. Just stand back. Right. I mean, dude, it looks so cool though, man. <laughs> Punch it. Yeah. Send it, baby. Send back here. Just send it. <laughs> Dude, it flies great! <laughs> yeah! I'm gonna some metal right now. Dude, put it in a hover for me real quick. So cool, dude. What kind of punch out does it have? Probably not. That's not bad. Good. Dude, how do you guys feel about that octopus? I like that this octopus. It's rocking. <laughs> it's right to us! Dude, was it hard to set up plus configuration? Not at all. It's a click of a button. Really? It's literally all it was. You go into beta flight. And on configuration menu, you can select the drop down box and pick all kinds of different configurations. And you pick the plus configuration, it tells you which motor is which. You wire it to that motor and make sure your props are going the right way. The only difference is with the props on the bottom of this one is the direction of the thrust. So, you know, obviously it's going to go up. You want the letters on top of the props to go up. Not bad. <laughs> oh, that was quick. <laughs> this is so wet and the sky is awesome. <laughs> yeah! Dude, that Hyperion battery is probably loving you right now. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Rock on! <laughs> Rock on, baby! Dude, it's so cool. Okay, Chad, you got a hammer. We gotta get the battery out. Well done, man. I am proud of it. Yeah, I think you're the first person to make a octopus <laughs> fly. Yeah, flying octopus. Actually, I, I can take credit for the electronics, but Chad actually did the the motor printing, spacing, yeah. and well, I think he actually had to go in and put the motor like fill it in. Yeah. Put the motor holes in. Yeah. Well, like I said, Chad is so uh, cool, he's man. become a 3D printing pro. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah especially yeah. since we got the the Lulzbot. So thank you again, Lulzbot. If you guys want to find out more about the printers we yeah. use, you can check the link below. Uh, maybe <laughs> we'll even link this. Uh, I'll have Chad post this. STL Dude. file, yeah. so you can make your own octopus, yeah. and then we, one day we can get all get together and fly a gaggle of octopuses. I, I just want to throw a disclaimer in there: if you crash this, it's probably just going to be a spectacular explosion. So, just remember that. You can make it out of TPU, <laughs> and then it'd be floppy like a real octopus. Then you just punch it out and watch the hands clap. <laughs> <laughs> Nicely done, dude. <laughs> Thank you, dude. <laughs>
So the plan is to have the battery in the skull. So it's, hopefully you don't see it. Do octopuses have skulls? No, they're kind of like a mushy thing, I guess, but it's all right. This one does. Anyway, this one does. So yeah, 